Hey, this is Brett, and we're going to uh, take a look at importing a Divi theme uh, layout. So uh, Juliet had sent a request trying to add a gallery uh, layout. This is actually something that we can download from Elegant Themes. They're the maker of Divi, the theme that we use on the Creative Arts uh, website. And for some reason, it's not working for Juliet. So I'm going to do two things with this video. I'm going to attempt to uh, import the layout. If there's no problem, then this video becomes a tutorial uh, of sorts, which the team can use to import more layouts. And if it doesn't work, then it'll, it'll give me something to troubleshoot on. Uh, Juliet can then also take a look at this video and compare it to her own efforts if uh, she spots something that is still not working on her side, we can troubleshoot that more and try to figure out what it is uh, that's causing the problem. Might be server related, could be computer related, could be a browser. Uh, there's a number of different things that can kind of come into play with these things. But uh, we want to be logged into the Creative Arts Charter School website and uh, logged into WordPress, that is. And we're going to scroll all the way down uh, in the menu system down to Divi. And here we want to go to the Divi library, uh, the submenu item down here, labeled Divi library. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to take us into the library setting. And we want to come up here to the uh, import and export uh, section. You'll notice there are a lot of things in here. There are lots of layouts that come standard with the initial Divi installation. And these are things that can be uh, added throughout the website in different forms or fashion, different ways. We can also save and create our own. If we create a section on a website that we like, a little module or area, we can save that to our own library and it uh, gets added into the layouts. In this case, though, uh, we're going to uh, attempt to build something or import something. And as I attempt to do that, I'm getting exporting your Divi layouts will create a... I'm seeing the same problem. I don't want to export, I want to import. So there's definitely something not right about that. Hmm, I haven't run into that before. So, so let's see if we can try to figure this out. And this is the same problem that uh, Juliet was describing. I'm using the uh, Chrome browser, and I don't even think that's all the text that's there. Ah, yeah, there's something in the layout here uh, that's uh, causing a problem. Export a file name. It's almost like this little thing is zoomed in uh, too much. I'm going to try zooming out. Ah, here we go. So here's, uh, for some reason, I'm in Chrome. I'm going to go to actual size, and actual size is rendering poorly. So I'm going to zoom out a level, and when I zoom out, it starts to fix itself. So I'm going to turn this video into uh, something public and share it back with the Elegant Themes team so that they can see this issue themselves and see if they can fix it, because when we're viewing something at actual size, we should not see this little pop-up zoomed in like it is. So that does appear to be some sort of bug. It's not my program, not my theme, so I can't necessarily make that call. Hopefully the Elegant teams will uh, spot what it is. It might be, uh, there could be something else going on here, but since we've seen it on two different users' computers, that means something. So anyway, when it's working correctly, and I might not even, I need to zoom in a little bit more maybe, the button down there, uh, or maybe this box, the portability box, this module that pops up, it might just simply need to be larger. But at the import level, we want to import our layout in, and I have this in an email, so I'm just going to drag and drop. I attempt to drag and drop this. Of course, this isn't drag and drop. Uh, some areas of WordPress are drag and drop these days, but apparently this isn't one of them. So, to save this to my downloads folder. I'm working from a Mac. Go to downloads, gallery, um, and we'll import that into the layout. So at least uh, while Elegant Themes does its work to review this error that uh, I think we're seeing and uh, attempt to fix it, we can at least get our layout loaded in there. And Juliet, you can uh, take a look at this too. This might be a workaround that works for you. You might need to 
zoom out of the screen when you're trying to import until uh, Elegant Themes and the Divi people uh, find a fix for this. Okay. Eating some Halloween candy from my daughter's hoard as I wait for that to upload. Okay, and I think we had 18 items in here before. We can now see our gallery item. I'm going to zoom back out to actual size. And we have it. So we now have this gallery item in our Divi installation. There's nothing to see here. This only shows up really when you want to um, create something. So if we go to pages and we wanted to add a new page, it looks like and I'm not going to say this. I'm just going to demonstrate uh, the purpose of all this. And we go into the uh, the Divi Builder. On that. System's going just a little bit slow here. Not certain why that is. I'm not getting the Divi Builder to even launch at this point. So I've got a couple other challenges here uh, with this installation as well. I'm going to be taking a look at plugins uh, and seeing if there's maybe something causing a conflict. Um, on this particular site, I feel like every time I log in to check this out, we've got a new plugin that's shown up and uh, plugins are kind of like apps we can uh, they can really expand WordPress um, but not all apps are created equally and some of them can cause some problems uh, as well uh, within uh, the system they may not work uh, well with well with uh, WordPress or they may not work well with a theme or some of the other plugins so there could be something in here that's uh, not working uh, well with current combination of these plugins it, they all create part they become part of an ecosystem and if uh, code is written in ways that's not uh, well suited to work with other plugins or themes that can that can uh, lead to uh, challenges maybe like what we're seeing here so there's we've got a couple different things to uh, troubleshoot and, and uh, figure out and we'll go from